Hi, teacher. Good evening. My dear students, how are you? Very good, very good. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going to set up something. And I will start. How was your day? My day is very good. It was very Thank good. You. It was very good, very busy. <laughs> very, <laughs> very busy. I had many things to do. But it was nice. It was very nice. Well, for me, it's a pleasure to see you once again, to be with you here, uh, to have the chance to have another class, another session with all my students. Hello, Jonathan, Emilia, Hazel, Francisco, Kelly. It's always a pleasure to see you. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Well, good evening. So, my dear students, did you have the opportunity to work in the platform? Have you had any difficulty? ¿Han tenido problemas en la plataforma con los ejercicios? Ya solo la dos era de determinar, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, pues no, ustedes pueden avanzar todo lo que quieran. Ahí no hay límite, ustedes pueden avanzar todo lo que quieran. Seguir con los ejercicios de las siguientes secciones. Si de repente se traban con alguno de los ejercicios de las secciones siguientes, pueden consultar y pues con mucho gusto les apoyamos. Ah, ok. Yeah, you can continue. La idea es que ustedes continúen. Si la terminan en una semana, perfect. Ahí no hay problema, solo se quedan conectándose a sus clases, obviamente. Aquí vamos viendo siempre el avance, van conociendo. Si de repente han visto que algo no les salió en la plataforma, pero lo vemos en clase y lo pueden corregir, lo pueden ir a hacer en no problem, right? Excelente. So you can continue working on the platform, right? You can continue working. You can continue advancing and it's on you, right? All the process that you decide to have, it's going to be on your own. So yesterday we were talking about the use of at, in, and on, right? We were talking about the use of at, in, and on. And what do you remember from this? What do you remember from the use of at, in, and on? ¿Qué recordamos de, este, de esta parte del tema que vimos ayer? Ah, que lo... Oh. El, Ajá. El adverbio at se Ajá. usa para designar el, la hora específica, por así decirlo. Ajá, give me one example. Um, I get up at six in the morning. At six in the morning, very good. Another example. A mis compañeros. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my friends, on, my friends. Uh, oh, yeah. Teacher, on huh? is I have a question. Dates. On is for dates. Kelia, what is your question? Mm. Uh, teacher, I have a question. What is your question? Ah, Emilia, what is the question? Um, in the number four. Uh -huh. I have lunch late. Puede ser late. I have lunch late. Okay, let me see. Okay, maybe in that case, I am going to send you the exercise. I have it right here. So when you have the different forms of the times, right? Let me see. Let me see, let me see. I have here the, the question. I have lunch and it says, uh, well, in that case, yes, when you use the sentence, I thought you were having, you were asking me a question. Is it the question from the, from the platform? Es su pregunta de la plataforma or just like that? No. El ejercicio, eh, el que están opiando. Ah, yes. La so, tarea que dejó ayer. Ah, we are going to go there in a second. Ya voy para ahí, ahorita voy para ahí. <laughs> Yo dije, okay. qué rápido, estos niños van volando, dije. Yeah, we're going to go there in a second. Don't worry, don't run. Yes, the exercise that I gave you yesterday. I am sharing the screen right now. I am going to go straight to the exercise and then to the practice, right? This was the exercise that you were supposed to do yesterday, okay? Hasta aquí quería llegar después de la práctica de add in on, pero ya llegamos. I get home late. I stay up until midnight. I wake up before or after noon. What are the answers that you have? Expressions of clock time. 
it is important to uh, to review them a little bit when you say at seven at seven o'clock at seven a.m or at seven in the morning right you cannot set you cannot say seven o'clock i am in the morning no please no you can say seven a.m seven o'clock or seven in the morning okay pero no me van a decir seven o'clock i am in the morning at sunrise so it's not possible what are the examples that you have here necesito eh, un voluntario que me ayude a leer las oraciones que tenemos aquí only one yo puedo intentarlo okay jonathan go ahead this ones that we have here the examples leer todas yes okay i grab at seven in the morning on weekday very good. I go to bed around then in the evening. 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 Week, evening. Okay. Yes. I go to bed around then in the evening on weekend, week, week, week night. nights. Week nights. Week night. Week nights are las week noches night. de la semana. Week, week nights. The next okay. one. Okay. I live for. Early in the afternoon on weekend. I leave. Weekend. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. Good. Weekends. Okay. I get home late at night on Friday. I I get home late. Late, late. at night on Fridays. Good. The next one. Okay. I stay up on until until, until midnight. Until midnight on Sunday, Saturday, perdón. On Saturdays, uh huh. Okay, I wake up before afternoon on Sunday. Okay, depending, right? Before noon or afternoon, right? Before noon sería antes de las 12 or afternoon después de las 12 on Sundays. Good, thank you, Jonathan. Reactions for Jonathan, very, very, very nice. Let me see. Okay. Let me check. The first person with no camera is going to give me the first example. El primero que no tenga cámara me va a dar el primer ejemplo. <laughs> Ajá. El primero sin cámara me va a leer los ejemplos. Ajá. Chan, 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 chan. No, you see, you are there. Vamos a ver quién me va a dar los ejemplos de la tarea. Hazel, Kelly. Tatiana, Eric, Rebecca, and Amanda. You are going to give me the examples of the homework. Uh -huh. Hazel, Miss Hazel. Okay, I start. Go ahead, I Hazel, number I... one. Go ahead. Uh, number two. I get up. I go to bed at midnight on weeknight. Okay, I go to bed at midnight on weeknights. Let's see, let's see the example. Aha, let me check it because I have a complete window here. I go to bed at midnight on weeknights, right? At midnight on weeknights, very good. Number two, Hazel. I oh, know, Kelly. Number three. I start work at 11.30 at night. At night, very good. Tatiana Martinez, the next one. I have a lunch at three. In the afternoon uh -huh. on Friday. Very good job. Eric Martinez, the next one, number five. Ramirez. Ramirez. Ay, Martinez. Ya ven, por eso no se enamoren. <laughs> ya confunden los nombres. <laughs> Ramirez. Mr. Ramirez. I stay up. Uh, 1 a.m. on weekends. Okay, si decimos 1 a.m. 
Y si decimos, I stay up hasta, right? I stay up until, oh, después de oh. stay up, ocupamos until. I stay up until. until 1 a.m. on weekends. On weekends, very good. The next one, Rebeca Pereira. We go with number six. Miss Rebeca. Rebequita, hello. Okay. Si ven a Rebeca, le dicen que la ando buscando. Amanda, go ahead. Number six. Six. I have a little snack at night in mm -hmm. the in the evening, very good. And Angelica Lasso, number seven. I sleep at noon on Sundays. I sleep before or after noon on Sundays. Uh, or until after afternoon. Okay, I Sundays. sleep afternoon. Or you can say I sleep until noon. También es posible. I sleep until oh. noon. On Sundays, good, hasta el mediodía. Well, I can't because I work. <laughs> it's not possible. Excellent job, my dear students. Very nice examples. Those were the correct forms of the sentences, right? Those were the correct forms of the sentences. And here I have the examples that you were giving me, right? I sleep until noon on Sundays. That was the last one. That was very, very, very nice. Excellent. I stay up until, right? We need to change this at because in this one was until. I stay until in this case, until. And here you have on. That was good. Thank you very much for your examples and for doing your homework. That's very nice that you did your homework. So before we move on on this one, we are going to have a little practice that I have ready for you. In this one, what we are going to do, my dear students, what we are going to do in this practice, we are going to create the questions for the answers that I have here, okay? We are going to create the questions for the answers that I have here. It says, no, I am not on vacations. I am a student here. And the question is, are you on vacations here? Right, that's the question form. But what about the next one? No, we are not from Spain. We are from Mexico. What will be the question that you need here? Are, are you from Spain? Are you from? Spain? Are you from? Are you, are you from Spain? Aha, that's a that's a good thing. Are you from Spain? Are you from Spain? No, we are not from Spain. We are from Mexico. Si decimos, where are you from? Tendríamos que tener en la respuesta, I am from. Y aquí estamos haciendo una negación de la pregunta. Are you from Spain? No, we are not from Spain. We are from Mexico, right? So this is a, a different form. The next one, Francisco, can you read the answer that we have? Francisco Isaac, read the answer. Sería... No, read, are, read the answer. Read this one. Read, leer. Yes, read. <laughs> read. <laughs> Sería, no, they are not on the same baseball team. They are on the same volleyball team. Exactly. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. No, they are not on the same volleyball team. They are on this. They are not on the same ba baseball team. They are on the same Volleyball team. What is the question for this one? Are they in the same Are baseball team? On the same bas bas basketball team? Are they on the same baseball team? Very good. Baseball. Baseball team. And on the answer you have, no, they are not on the same baseball team. They are on the same volleyball team. What about the next one? Eric Ramirez. Can you read the answer for the number four? Mm. 
Number four, read the answer. Yes, uh, Kim and Mika are in my class. Kim and Mika are in my class. Very good. What is the question for this answer? Are Kim and Mika in your class? Very good. Are Kim and Mika, imagínense llamarse así en El Salvador, <laughs> in your class. ¿Y con quién estudia esta Mika? Conmigo. <laughs> The next one. Yes, it's a nice class. What would be the question for this one? It is a nice class. Ha! Let's analyze the question a little bit. Is it a nice uh, class? It is. is it? it is. is it a nice class? Is it a nice class? Is it a nice class? Yes, it is a nice class. And the last one. No, my teacher isn't Mr. Brown. I'm in Mrs. West class. Is Mr. Brown your teacher? Very good, very good, right? Is Mr. Brown your teacher? Is Mr. Brown your teacher? And it says, no, my teacher isn't Mr. Brown. I am in Mrs. West class. Very good job. Fantastic job, students. Fantastic. Angela Xiomara, I am going to give you the question and you give me the answer, okay? Are you on vacation here? No, I'm not in vacation. I'm a student here. Okay, Angela, ask another person another question. Guillermo, are you from Spain? No, we're from Spain. We're from Mexico. Another person, Guillermo? Um okay, uh for you teacher, are you the are you there in, on the same baseball team? Are they on the same baseball team? No, they are not on the same baseball team, they are on the same volleyball team. Thank you. Vanessa Carranza, are Kim and Mika in your class? Yes, Kim and Mika are in my class. Very good, Vanessa. Throw the question to another person. Um Amanda? Amanda. Ask it is a uh -huh. nice class. Amanda? Excuse me? Amanda, is it a nice class? Yes, it is. Yes, it is a nice class. Yes, 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 yes it is a nice class. Good. Jonathan Josue, is Mr. Brown your teacher? No, my teacher is Mr. Brown. Uh, I am in Miss West class. In Miss West class. Good. Hasta Rufo nos dijo la respuesta. That's very nice. Thank you very much, my dear students. Okay. So let's keep on practicing, right? I have here a little bit of more practice for all of you. Because I wanted to wrap up the two units with a specific answers and with a specific practice. Here. I have here the options. Right, I have here the options and here you have the different sentences and questions, okay? What I need you to do is to get the correct sentence in the correct space down here. Here we have the spaces and here we have the answers that we are going to complete, okay? So I need you to analyze them, read the ones that we have here, read the options and for sure, read the sentences. And once you have one, you can give me the sentence and the answer. Quien tenga alguna de las respuestas, me la puede brindar. Uh, Rich. Uh -huh. No, I am not. I am on vacation. Are you a student? Uh, pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? ¿Qué seguiría aquí? Uh, the answer is no. No, no. Oh, really? No, yes. I'm not. I'm on vacation. Are you a student? No, I am not on vacation. Are you a student? Very good. The next one. Yes, I am. 
Oh, really? Is Susan Miller in your class? Mm, no. 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 And, and what are you studying? Excellent. And what are you studying? I am studying okay. Spanish. Uh, or really? Or really? Or oh, really? Susan Miller in your class? Is Susan Miller in your class? Yes, she is. Is she your friend? No, she's okay, not. No, she's, she's, she's not. She's, she's, she's my sister. sister. My sister. No, she's not. She's my sister. So, hello, I am Sara. Uh -huh. Hi, hey. Sara. I'm Rich. How Hi. are you? Hi, Pretty Sarah. good, I'm thanks. Rich. How are you? How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Are you a student here? No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not. not. I'm a no, student. I'm I'm not. Not. Are you a student? Are you a student? Are you a student? Yes, I am. And what are you studying? And what are you, are you studying? studying? Studying, right? Studying. I am studying Spanish. Oh, really? Oh, really? really? Yes. Yes. In your class. Class. In your class. Yes, she is. Is she your friend? No, no she's, she's not. not. She's, she's my sister. sister. Not my sister. <laughs> oh, that's why. Right. Very good. So in this case, it's just a matter of analyzing, right? At the beginning, you had this face like. Let me see. But now, once you answer one, you know the sequence of the other sentence. Very good job. So let's continue here with the final exercise. And on this one, we are going to work in your notebooks, okay? Para eso sí vamos a trabajar en el cuaderno, así que todos saquen sus cuadernos. Notebook time. Saquen todos sus cuadernos porque vamos a crear las oraciones. And it says, the example that I have for you, this is the example that I have for you. I am a security guard. I work in a department store. I guard the store at night. This is the sentence in a first person. But what you are going to do is to transform the sentences into third person singular. And it says, he is a security guard. He works in a department store and he guards the store at night. You are going to write the same sentence, but in third person singular. Okay, aquí la tienen, la dos, la tres y la cuatro. Okay, so that's what you are going to copy. Okay, you are going to do it. And here I am going to send it here, I think. No, I am going to, okay, you can, you can have it there. I need you to write the sentences in single present third person. Go ahead. Uh, excuse me, teacher. I have yes. one question. Yes. Uh, we need to write in this in the book, right? But um, we need to translate the the first sentence to their person in the notebook, or only... you only only copy the sentences in third person. 
right? Not the original sentence and the third person sentence. Only the okay. third person sentence. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. I know you want to write everything. Yo creo que ustedes quisieran escribir todo, pero ahora no. Only the third person. Go ahead. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. Kelia, give me number two. She works in a travel agency and agency. takes... Agency. Uh, agency. Agency. No, agency. Agency. Uh -huh. Okay. She works in a travel agency and takes people on tours. She is a tourist guide. Okay, and it's tours, tours. Tours. She's a tour guide. She's a tour guide. Finish it. She's a tour guide. Very good. Thank you, Kelly. Excellent job. Mr. Jonathan, give me the next one. She works. He works mm -hmm. in an office. She's a words professor. He likes computer a lot. Okay, he works in an office. He is He's a word his. processor, right? He is a word processor. He's a word processor. He, he like, likes likes computers. Computer a lot. Computers. Computer a lot. A lot. Very good. Who wants to help me with number four? Finish, teacher. Jonathan Josue, go ahead. All the Jonathan. She, she is a DJ. She works in a nightclub. She plays music. Very good. He is a disc jockey. He works in a nightclub and he plays music. It is important. Something important to clarify and remember. In English, the nightclub is a discotheque, okay? In Spanish, in our country, in El Salvador, the nightclub is another thing, okay? Just to keep it clear, right? He works in a nightclub. Los ejemplos de la teacher, uy, uy. No, the nightclub in English, it's the discotheque, right? He plays, she plays music, right? She plays music. She's a disc jockey. Just to clarify it. Very good. Let me see. Carolina, can you give me number two? Two. She, she works in a travel agency and engines. And, and take, take people on tour. She a tour guide. Okay. She works, she works in a travel agency and takes people on tours. She is a tour guide. She's a tour guide. Tour guide. Very good. Catherine, give me number three. He works in an office. He is a word processor. He likes computer, computers a lot. He likes, right? He likes. The next one, Tatiana, number four. She is this jockey. She works in a nightclub. She plays music. Excellent job. Now, I need you please to create one little paragraph about you in third person. Okay. El párrafo va a ser acerca de ustedes, pero van a decir he o she, depende, de, de, depende de quién está haciendo el párrafo. Les puedo decir, she is a teacher, she works at Inglés Corporativo, she teaches classes for the best students. Right, that's one example for me. Give me one example about you. Será nuestro, pero hablando en tercera persona. Exactly like that. Thank you. Mr. Teacher, Jonathan. Yes. How do you say auxiliar contable? Okay, here you have I am going to send it on the chat, right? Accountant auxiliary. There it is. Accountant auxiliary.
How do you say mantenimiento? Maintenance. I am going to send it on the chat as well. Maintenance. That's a very difficult word. Maintenance. Right. Maintenance. Another one. Thank you. You're welcome. Si ya lo tienen listo, you can open the microphone and tell me. Okay, me. Okay. She okay. works. Kelly. She works in an office. She is an engineer. She likes of my maintenance. Okay. She likes or she likes or she works in maintenance. In an office. You say in an office. Thank you, Kelia. Very good. Next. Aquí si todos van a hablar. Así que todos nadie se salva. Go ahead. Kelia, check. Next. Me, Hazel. Go ahead. She is an export agent. She works in a decor factory. She does exportation documents all day. Okay, exporting documents all day. Good. Exporting, okay. Very good. The next one. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Jocelyn. She works in an office. She talks with people. She is a saleswoman. Very good. In an office, right? In an office. She works in, in an, an office. office. She talks with okay. people, right? She's a saleswoman. Very good. Next. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Jonathan Josue. He is account auxiliary. auxiliary. He works in a true knowledge. He likes to use Excel. He likes to use Excel. Yes, that's your best friend if you are an accountant. Truly Nolan, that it's the one about the, the plagues, right? Yes. That's cool. I am going to call you if I have a problem. Okay. <laughs> the next one. Very good. Next. Vanessa. Vanessa, go ahead. She a teleoperator. She will attend customers. She likes attending. Okay. She is a she is a teleoperator. In that case, that would be like an agent, a calls agent. She is okay, a call agent. 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 Good. Very good. Next. Me teacher. Go ahead, Guillermo. He's a uh, supervisor. He 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 is uh, talks with the passenger. He talks with he, the passengers. Ah uh, yeah. Sorry. He he liked the computers. He likes the computers. Very good. Excellent, Guillermo. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Three, two, one. Jonathan Gabriel, go ahead. <laughs> uh, he works in a drugstore. She's a tender. Um, she likes the computer. Okay, he attends people, right? He attends He's people. Attend people. He attends people. He, he, he's. No, I send it on the chat. Attend. Ahí lo tienen en el chat. He attends people. He okay, attends people. he attends people. Mm -hmm. Carolina Rivera, go ahead. She works in a cafeteria. She works she, in a cafeteria, uh huh? She she prepare the food. She studies studies English. She studies English. Very good. Catherine Reyes. Uh, she she works a uh, hospital office. She is a manager. She like numbers. Okay, she works at a hospital. At a hospital. Uh, at a hospital office. She works at a hospital office. Francisco Isaac. Good night. Uh, he is a delivery man in a informal fast food and studying English in the weeknights. 
He studies English in the weeknights. Very good. Alfredo Guillén, go ahead. He works in the university. Uh -huh. He is a teacher. He talks about classroom. He is a teacher and he, he talks about classroom. Alfredo, what kind of teacher are you? Mathematics, science, English, literature. I'm oh, sorry. No, it's about me. It's... Ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. I um, speak about me. Okay, go ahead. And I said, like, hey, we have a teacher here. I said, what a cool thing. No, go no. ahead. Okay. Mm. <laughs> he is uh, engineering. He's an engineer. Uh huh. He works um industrial company. Uh huh. He makes clothes. No. Uh, how do you say tela? Fabric. Fabric. He, fabric. he made fabric. Okay, where do you work? In text to field company. Oh, text to field, right, very yeah. good. Text to field, very nice. Yeah. Let's see, let's continue with Lisette Castillo. She's a treasurer. She works in an office. She supervised the cashier. She supervises the cashier. You're a treasurer. Is that in tesorería? Or what? Or a cashier? Yes. Ah, okay. Tesorería. Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what a difficult job. Okay, good. Estrés. Excellent. I know it's stressful. stressful. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine that it's stressful. Mr. Oscar Chacon, go ahead. Good evening. Um, he is a salesman. Mm -hmm. uh, he works at a factory of beverages. Or, I don't know, sodas. Beverages, uh huh. Okay. Uh, he likes uh, the relationship with people. Okay. Okay. He likes relationships with people. Very good. Let's see. We're going to go with the last two. Rebeca Pereira en Marlon Barrientos. Marlon, ¿ya nos sentimos mejor? Yes. Okay. Rebeca en Marlon, go ahead. She's a baker. She makes cakes. She prepares... Okay. <laughs> El último fue un misterio. She's a baker. She prepares cakes and... She prepares the orders. Oh, the orders. So you make cakes, Rebeca. Yes, with my family. Qué bonito. Todo guarden el número de Rebeca. <laughs> For the parties. <laughs> Marlon, go ahead. Okay, good evening. Uh, he's an engineer. An engineer. Mm -hmm. He works in a textile fabric and he likes the computer. Okay, very good. I have one correction here. When you say a textile fabric, it is a very common mistake. Those are false, false cognates. Fabric is tela, right? This is fabric. What you are, what your blouses are made of. This is fabric, right? The complete place, it's called factory. Factory. Factory is la empresa. Fabric is tela, right? This thing that you have on the clothes. Right, very good. Heidi, anda de Too Fast and Furious, ahí manejando y viéndonos en clase. Cuidado. Yes. <laughs> Cuidado, no descuide el camino. Si no, no va a salir más cara la clase que otra cosa. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Eyes on the road. You can listen to me, but eyes on the road. Excellent. So, my dear students, very good. One more who wants to participate? Uno más que se nos queda? Que quiera participar? Go ahead. Uh, in a textile factory. He's a purchase system. And he, la, uh, he likes to play soccer. He likes to. He likes to play he soccer. Very good job. 
Thank you very much for all the ones who participated and for all the ones who shared the different sentences. So in this case, let me see if it works. Okay, I am going to share my sound with all of you. We are going to do a listening exercise. We are going to do a listening exercise and what you are going to do is to complete the chart, okay? Van a completar el cuadro que tienen aquí. Tengo a Rodney, Tina, and Ellen. We have job, gets up at, gets home at, and goes to bed at. And here we have the three different parts, right? Rodney, Tina, and Ellen. I need you to take notes about what you are going to listen, okay? Vamos a escuchar el audio y vamos a completar el cuadro. Le voy a poner el audio tres veces, okay? So, pay attention. Me confirman si lo pueden escuchar. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Can you listen? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes, so teacher. let's do the listening. Se lo puede poner tres veces para que puedan completar toda la información. Go ahead. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Do you have your answers or do you need to listen once again? Do you, need, do you need to listen again? Una vez más, teacher. Okay, one, once again. <laughs> once again, please. Say, once again, once go again. ahead. Action. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, 
so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, good, very good. Let's see uh, how we did. Let's see how we did. So, job, the Rodney's job, he's a chef. What time does he get up? Nine a.m. Nine a.m. Because it's get up, right? Nine a.m. Good. He gets home. Eleven p.m. At eleven p.m. And what time does he go to bed? One a.m. One a.m. Right. One a.m. What about Tina? What is Tina's profession? Office manager. Office manager. He's an office manager. She gets up. She gets up at seven. Ahí dice, hombre, no me estén inventando la pobre Tina. She gets up at seven. She gets home. Six p.m. Six p.m. And he go. She goes to bed. Midnight. Midnight. At midnight. Very good. What about Ellen? What is Ellen's profession? Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. She's fly a flight attendant. attendant, right? She gets up. 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. And she goes to bed? Nine, or she gets home? 9 p.m. 9 p.m. She gets home at 9 p.m. And she goes to bed? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Right? She goes to bed at 10 p.m. Very good job, my dear students. So here I just have a, this one. This is exactly the same exercise that you were fighting with. Aquí es este el mismo ejercicio que se, están, se han estado dando ahí duro. Y ahorita 1 a.m., 10 p.m., midnight, na, na, na. <laughs> So you have the same listening here in the platform, right? This was the exercise about the daily schedules. Now, in this one, let's finish the practice for this unit. What is the answer for this case? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. What do you do? What do you do? What, what do, you, do, do, you, do, you, do? do you do? Right, what, what do, you do? do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. The next one, where do you? Do I go, go to school. Go. Where, go. Go. where go. do you go? go? Exactly. I like them a lot. How? Where? How? How do you like your classes? How do you like? Okay, if you say how, how, if you say where, where do you like your classes? In my house, you say how do you like your classes? I like them a lot. How? The next one, Tanya, do she's a teacher? Why does? What does? What does? What does, what does she do exactly? She teaches. She teaches. She teaches, she teaches. She teaches math. Right. What about Ryan? Where does he work? He works. He works, he works. He works for a big company. Company. And what does he do? What does he do? Exactly. Right. He creates websites. Very good job. So the next exercise that we did was time expressions. Right. Time expressions is the same thing that we were doing at the beginning of the class. We were working on this one. It says, I get up at, at, six. at, six. at, at six. I go to bed at, at, night. Night. at, night. at night. At night. I start at work at, 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 at I have lunch in, in, the, the, afternoon. in the afternoon. At 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I stay up at 1 a.m. On weekends. On weekends. Weekend. I wake up late on Sundays. On Sundays. On Sundays. On I watch Sunday? TV in the evening. I do my homework at four around, in the around four in the around. 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 around four. Around four. I work on weekdays. On weekdays. On weekdays. I work on weekdays. I get home early in the, in the morning. morning. In the morning. In the morning. From, morning. from my night shift. Very good job. Excellent. The next one, it, it was what we were just doing, right? It's this one. I get up at six. And the last, 
exercise that we had was daily schedules and it was the listening that we just did. Este es el que acabamos de hacer. What is the only thing here? Read the indications. Write numbers in letters. Where you have to write the numbers in letters here. Here you have the answers of these ones are the same exercise that we just finished. So we are going to move on the next one. And in the next unit, we have how much is it? In this, what we are going to be doing, let me move back to my presentation. I am going to go to my presentation. Ching, ching, ching. Here we go. I am going to start with this one. People, what is your favorite color? My favorite, my my favorite color, color is green. White. Green. green. Pink. White. Pink. Red. Green. Aha. Blue. Blue. Brown. Green. Aha. Brown. Green. Yellow. Orange. Aha. My favorite color is pink. I love pink pink and blue, right? You know, the different colors have a specific meanings. For example, if you say, I like pink, you're a loving person. Exciting, fun, happy, jealous, the green one, right? Blue, truthful, white, pure, gray, boring, black, sad, brown, friendly, purple, mysterious. Right, that is the meaning of your favorite color. And yee, if you ask about favorite colors, I am going to share one document with you on which you have all the names of all the colors. But in Spanish, or well, in, in El Salvador, I might say, we have a specific problem and we say, el color fucsia, and it doesn't exist. The color is named Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Even in English or in Spanish. Fuchsia. But people say fuchsia. Don't do it, please. In the love of God. It's, no. It's not fuchsia. It's fuchsia. A veces, aunque no lo entiendan, pero dígale, ese me gusta, la camisa, la blusa, color fuchsia. La, ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Fuchsia. Hasta fucsia que está aquí. No, it's fuchsia. Y ahí aprendemos y damos el paso cultural del fuchsia. Okay, so that's a matter of your favorite color. So let's practice the little conversation. And it says, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The, that, blue, that blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Let me get it for you. This is a necklace, right? This is a necklace, right? And the earrings are the ones that you put on your ears. You are going to be Maria. I am Steve. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. Todos. This red one. This red one. This red one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, Yo creo que estaban dormidos. <laughs> oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? Red ones? Yeah, not sure. Sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, oh these. These. Oh, these. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, we should really have color for you. Really for, really for, 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 for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which, Which one? one? Which one? Oh. one? Oh, that blue one right there. How it's much is it? It's, it's, it's forty-two dollars. It's expensive. expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! Yay! Thank you very much. Now, all the boys, todos los chicos, todos los chicos son Steve, y todas las chicas Maria. Okay? 
One, okay. two, okay. and three. Boys. Oh, look, oh, oh, look at those look areas, areas, Maria. Yeah. They're yeah. perfect, they're they're you. perfect they're for you. This is the one. one. I'm not, not sure. sure. Oh, the yellow one. The yellow one. The yellow one. Oh, oh, this, this? Mm. yellow, yellow is really a really good color for, color for me. me. For me. Well, well the the is bad. Bad. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? The blue, the blue one right, right there. there. It's forty-two dollars. Forty-two dollars. That's expensive. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. For you. Happy birthday. 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 Repita conmigo. Birthday. 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 Okay. De ahora en adelante ya no van a cantar Happy Birthday to you. No. Say Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Okay. Ya no quiero andar poniendo esas canciones de Happy Birthday to you. No. Okay. No. Ya aquí inglés corporativo nivel Happy Birthday to you. Okay. There you go. Ladies, we are going to be a Steve. Ladies, we are going to be a Steve. Pero vamos a tener que sonar como un Steve de verdad. Uh, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're per no, Steve is like, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. And all the Marias are going to be the boys. You have to sound like a Maria. These red ones? I'm not sure. Ok, vamos a ver, yo creo que podemos ser un, un buen, una buen voz de hombre. Vamos, chicas. One, two, and three. Oh, 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 Yellow is a really good color for me. <laughs> well, oh, that yeah. necklace oh, is yes, bad. Yes, oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. That blue one, that right, blue there. one, one right, right there. there. How much is it? How much is it? It's forty-two yes. dollars. Yes. That's that expensive. Right. Hey, okay. hey yes. let me get it. 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 Let me that was my favorite part. Oh, these mm, yellow is really good for me. That was fun. Chicos, son unos grandes actores. Qué bárbaro, qué bárbaro. Chicas, chicas, sacaron ahí todo el girl power that we have. Thank you very much. There you go. Oh, the yellow. Mm, the yellow. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Ya ven, para que se desestresen un rato. Si andaban estresados, enojados, bravos con la vida, ya se les pasó. That's good. Now, we are going to match something in specific just before we move into uh, the next part of this one. When you say these red ones, and it says, um, I am not sure, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Um, well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. That's expensive. Let me get it for you. When you say, for example, these, those, that, these are, there you go, the ones that we have here, demonstratives. Eso se llaman demonstratives porque nos muestran dónde está algo o cuando señalamos algo. Si les digo, Oh, look at those students. Those, ellos, allá, esos, que no puedo tocar porque están lejos. Those, esos. Pero si les digo, these, it's something that I have in my hands, right? These things, these mm -hmm. objects, right? Estos, pero los tengo cerca de mí, los puedo tocar. Son these. But if I say that necklace, right? It is not the same that I tell you these necklace because this porque lo puedo tocar this si le digo that es el que no puedo tocar okay so this is for plural this one that we have here 
this one that we have here, this is for plurals. And that is for singulars, okay? These are called demonstratives. And we are going to use these ones for the next class. So please, I need you to study a little bit on the demonstrative pronouns. Lo pueden encontrar en el primer video informativo de la unidad 3, okay? So we are going to study this tomorrow in our final class of the week. Demonstratives, okay? We are going to review a little bit on demonstratives. So please, I need you to investigate a little bit more on demonstratives for the next class. That it's going to be tomorrow. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Have a good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B